Season 2 finds Captain Lexi alone on Wild Child in the Abaco province of the Bahamas. She sails Wild Child alone from Marsh Harbor out to Foul Key. I'm not sure, but maybe life is about facing our fears. Through whatever circumstances, I'm certainly facing one of my biggest fears. But my confidence is growing. Wild Child's under control and going in the right direction. Okay, so I'm nearing the place where I want to anchor, but I'm still a mile out. But I gotta give myself time. I just furled my Jenny using my secondary winch. I just figured it's easier to put it on the winch and use that mechanical force to get leverage on it than to try to do it like by pulling manually. So now I gotta get the mainsail down. So I'm, I just got the engine turned on. We'll slip it into gear. Get the wiggle out. And then I gotta get I gotta go to windward to get the mainsail down before I run out of water. Wild Child has a two-blade folding propeller on the end of her prop shaft. They're not geared though, and sometimes one blade opens and the other doesn't. So you have to sort of push it forward and reverse to get them both to pop open so you don't get that awful vibration. With my good friend Otto doing the steering and the engine doing the propelling, I run up on deck by myself and I'm hauling down on the mainsail as fast as I can to get it dropped into the happy pack so I can return to helm and resume control of the boat as soon as possible. All hail the happy pack, eh? Wow. So it's down. I mean, it's not pretty. But I can... Oh, I'm lightheaded. I'm going to pass out. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, I got to get... I have white spots in my vision again. Whenever I exercise, like, from calm to exercise to calm, my heart rate goes crazy and my, and my heart condition makes my life difficult. So... There is a good reason solo sailing is one of my biggest fears and I tether in all the time because if I pass out and fall overboard, I'm going to die. Solo sailing is inherently dangerous and extra dangerous for me. Okay, clean up the Jenny sheet, get the halyard out of the way. We gotta get the boom to center because I don't want it swinging around on deck. So we have to control the boom. Look at that, sailing by herself one-handed while filming it. And uh, I don't know if I can show you guys. That's Man of War Key, that's the marine park. We're gonna anchor over there somewhere, maybe near that cat. But I have to get in that way and be careful of rocks and stuff. The uh, scuba diving snorkeling is on the back side between the foul key and the outside reefs. There's mooring balls. It's a fabulous place to go and worth the effort, as you saw from the earlier, uh, as you guys saw from the uh, earlier video when Michelle and I were scuba diving in there. It is like amazingly pretty. Um, so a cool place to go.
I had remembered when we were diving here three weeks earlier just how amazing the reefs in the National Park are. This was spectacular, and today I want to go back there. I want to go snorkeling alone. But Michelle took the waterproof dive camera, so I don't have any video footage to show you from today. With the keel. I'm gonna try and tuck in a little bit to foul key to get some protection from the rolling swell that's sort of coming in this way. If I can get in, it's a little bit tucked in. That might make for a better night at anchor. There's Foul Key, there's the diving at the Marine Park, but these symbols, these red symbols, these are rocks, so it's, you know, it'll go 20 feet deep down to 8 feet deep to 20 feet deep, or 20 to 10 to 20, and the rocks in 20 are probably okay. Yeah, I mean, what kind of strikes me is that I am absolutely terrified to sail by myself because there's a lot of things on a boat you do with two people. But it is all the same things. Like, it's not like this is my first time sailing. I, I've done, I know the procedure, I know the boat, I know what to do, I know how to handle it. It's all the same stuff that I'm used to and I've been doing for eight months now. I get it. It just, I have to do it alone. So it's. Although I'm scared, I'm actually really experienced if I gave myself some credit. And I actually really do know what I'm doing if I give myself some credit. And I, I can do this, I just have to get over how scary it is and how, like, what if things go wrong, what if this, what if that, all the nervous, scary, worry things. But I mean, like, look, I'm motoring wild child alone at the helm choosing an anchorage. I've done that 500 times. Nothing new here. kind of motoring my way in to where I think I want to drop the anchor. I was thinking, yeah, you just motor and drop the anchor, no big deal. Well, the anchor doesn't drop itself. Michelle normally drops it. Well, now I'm gonna drop it. So I'm alone on the boat, and I have to steer into position, and I have to run up on the helm and get the anchor set, and make the boat fall off and set distances and scope, <laughs> and all of that by myself. So 90% of the way there, we just gotta get on anchor now. I'm not gonna film it, it's way too hard to film. But there was no way I was gonna be able to drop the anchor man, the helm, run back and forth, and hold the camera, like do it all one-handed. I am awesome, but I'm not awesome enough to do that one-handed. So it looks like, if you can see on the chart plotter, so what I did is I got myself up, you know, with the tide is plus three feet, so I'm in plenty deep water and I'm far enough from the key. There's Val Key, I got lots of swing room. I'm in a little pocket. I'm hopefully not exposed to ocean swell coming in this way and protected from ocean swell that way. The swell can make an anchorage really rough. And then if you... I had to run back and forth a bunch of times, like neutral, reverse, neutral, reverse, add chain, remove chain, check the depth, see where we are running back and forth. But, um, I just uh, finished bearing down on that anchor and uh, all hail rock now. Like it's set first time, let it sit on the bottom, give it a little tug, and then you just tug it, poof, and then that locks it in, it goes down. If you just give a little poof with your boat, then I held bear down on it, didn't swing at all. So actually, I feel like we're at anchor, like we're good. So, um, so to put the snubber on, I just stick the snubber in the chain and then we're just gonna let it out so back here we give it a little just like that you don't want it um you don't want it too loose you want if a lot of pressure comes up the pressure starts to transfer to the chain so you want some on your snubber but not all of it chain will fail first so kind of Oh, oh, I'm going like here again. Uh, is that army saying two is one and one is none? 
You always double up on safety or anything that you can double up, you double it up because it's safer. Well, I had food and rest. Now I'm in my ultra sexy wetsuit and I'm gonna go snorkeling.